Hey everyone, this is Angela at Bake It With Love and today we are doing our how to make lobster stock video and this is so important when you're making like a really delicious lobster dish that you use a really great stock. So here we go with um, a big stock pot and some olive oil or vegetable oil down on the bottom and you start adding your onion, your celery, your carrots, tomatoes and uh, some parsley, a big handful of it, chopped parsley. You're going to stir that around and let your vegetables steam for a few minutes and just kind of keep it moving so nothing burns. Uh, we're at medium high heat here and cooking this just for a few minutes before we start adding the shells and the water and you can use white wine if you want to if you didn't drink it all. Um, that goes really well in here too but for our lobster stock today I'm going to use about eight cups of water and just enough to cover as you can see all my big chunks of, sea, of lobster shells here so I've got to use enough water to cover all of that. So we've added our lobster shells in here and we just gave it a quick stir before adding our liquid, our water. And you can see in the shadows there, we're adding a little bit of salt and pepper. Don't add too much at this stage because the lobster stock that we're making today is one that we're going to reduce for quite a while. If you add too much salt in the beginning, especially the salt, not so much the pepper, but the salt, uh, in the end when you go to taste it and see what the flavor is like, you might end up with a too salty version. And you can fix that by adding some more water and trying again but if you reduce it back down so the seafood flavor is the same it's still going to have the same salt problem so start light with your salt and pepper and your extra seasonings because there's definitely herbs you could throw in here with this um, don't forget a bay leaf I added that in kind of after the fact there uh, before we simmered so, and all we're doing right now is waiting for our lobster stock to come to a nice rolling boil. Uh, like I said, we're at medium high heat and we'll reduce that when we get to the boil and simmer this. I think we simmered for about an hour and a half. You can simmer for anywhere between an hour and an hour and a half depending on when the flavor is right for you. So uh, keep a close eye on it right now just because once it comes to a boil, you really do want to reduce it. It's going to boil over. It'll get all bubbly and boil over in a big way really fast if you're not watching it. And we're making our lobster stock today from a couple of fresh lobsters that we got. Um, you can make your lobster stock with the same water that you boiled your lobster in, but it's really important to make sure that your lobster was really clean beforehand if you do that. Also, when I strain this off after we're done simmering it, I doubled over my cheesecloth and strained through that, a really fine um, straining so that I don't get any junk in my lobster stock because I'm going to put this in jars and refrigerate it. I'm holding off a few days before we make the next recipe. We're going to use this in our lobster risotto, which is coming up next, and uh, also later on for a roasted corn lobster chowder. It's a mouthful, but it's delicious. So check those videos out and uh, make sure to visit the website because the full recipes are on there. And this page has the links to the other recipes, so you can find them really easily. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you like the video. It's a basic walkthrough, but it's a great result. And if you're spending money on that kind of extraordinary lobster, you need good stock.